European Authorized Representative. The European Authorized Representative may have different names. EAR, EC Rep, EC or CE Representative, just to name a few. However, they all mean the same, European Authorized Representative. The European Authorized Representative is critical for manufacturers wishing to sell medical devices on the European market. Legally Required The EU Medical Device Directive Article 14.2 says, A manufacturer that does not have a registered address in the European Union may not make his medical devices available on the EU market unless he first designated an authorized representative in the European Union. How to designate an EAR? By signing an agreement. The manufacturer and the EAR sign an agreement which essentially says, 1. Manufacturer, you will be my authorized representative in Europe, and 2. European authorized representative, I accept to be your European authorized representative. In addition to the agreement, you will need to mention the rights and obligations of each party and the general manner of cooperation. As such, it is clear that designating an EAR is legally required and it is done by signing an agreement. But, how should the manufacturer choose an EAR? In order to make the right choice, the manufacturer should consider three things. One, who can be an EAR. Two, what should an EAR do for him. And three, what are the possible risks of a bad choice? Who can be an EAR? See below legal definition of a European Authorized Representative. In short, the EAR must be European means he must be established in the community. Authorized means he is designated by the manufacturer. Representative means he agreed to represent the manufacturer. What should an EAR do for the manufacturer? The EAR should 1. Provide the manufacturer with a registered address in the EU to be mentioned on the product packaging. 2. Keep, at his registered address in Europe, the technical documentation available for inspection by the EU authorities. 3. Maintain constant availability to represent the manufacturer in front of the EU Commission, EU authorities, EU certification bodies, and the European users. Four. Complete applications on behalf of the manufacturer, device registrations, free sales certificates, etc. 5. Take care of any incident reporting. 6. Safeguard the compliance with regulatory news and updates. And 7. Consult and continuously support the manufacturer. What are the possible risks? Here are some of the risks when designating a distributor in Europe as EAR. Registrations. Disagree on price or other conditions? What will happen to your EU registrations when cutting relations with a distributor? Confidentiality. Disclosing your secrets. Technical documentations to a distributor? Conflict of interest. Distributors have commercial interests. Regulatory compliance is not at the top of their priority list. Competence. Who will advise you on EU regulations? For example, will a distributor in Italy know the national laws in Poland or the UK? Probably not. And expertise. Who will have the expertise to represent you during an EU authority inspection? This means the EAR must be knowledgeable and backed up by years of expertise. Be able to cover the entire EU market. And be neutral and professional. Conclusion. A professional agency as European Authorized Representative is the most recommended solution for the manufacturer. Makes sense? Here's the procedure to replace your EAR. 1. The new EAR is to be designated under the signed legal mandate before terminating the agreement with the current EAR. 2. The outgoing EAR needs to be notified by the manufacturer from this day forth the new EAR will take over in case of class 2A, 2B, or 3 medical devices. The notified body needs to be notified of this change. And in the case of class 1 medical devices, the EU authorities need to be notified of this change. Questions? Need help? 
With years of experience in European Authorized Representative Services, Obulus will be your European Authorized Representative. Please visit this page for support. obulusmedical.net slash contacts.